basically like uh, he's patient. Uh, he's gonna use his hands and feet. You know, like I said, this is one of the corner, one of the best corners I'm uh, face. You know, uh, so uh, he's really he's really special. Did you get to see last year's game? Because he traveled with Corey Davis, mm -hmm. and Corey had a pretty solid game against him. Have mm -hmm. you watched that game? Um, I haven't, but uh, Corey has been talking to me about it. Yeah. Uh, so. Or trying to give me a little tips and stuff like that. So if he decides to travel with me, yeah, cool. How much did you learn from the way Lattimore defended you a couple of weeks ago with the Saints, and uh, you know now thinking that uh, Gilmore may try to do the same thing? Um, that's another good corner. So uh, like I said, both of them, both of them to me are really patient. Uh, they they rely on their hands and feet, and, they, and this is gonna be gritty. Belichick is notorious for taking away what teams do best. How much of the treatment are you expecting Saturday night from them? Um, I, I don't know. I don't get into all that. My job is to try to go out there and just try to make plays. I mean, regardless if you take it away, then somebody else should be there. You had such a good rookie season, but that's the regular season and this is the playoffs. How much is it to you that, that greatness in this league is defined in January and February? Uh, yeah, nobody cares what, what, what I did in the regular season now. This is where, this is where, this is where it all starts, a new season. So uh, that's my focus, and that's, that's what I'm trying to do. How long have you been watching NFL with the Patriots just kind of setting the standard in the AFC, and now you guys get a chance to, to take them out in the first round? What does that mean? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, you got to come out and play. The best team's going to win. I mean, regardless of what happened in the past, I mean, don't get too caught up in that. So, I mean, we got to play football at the end of the day. Going up against Tom Brady, what's the confidence in this locker room, though, in Ryan Tannehill? I said I played, I play offense, so I don't got to worry about Tom Brady. But you all are doing with Ryan. Uh, we definitely got a lot of confidence in Ryan. Uh, he's delivering us, delivering the ball on time, and giving us more opportunities, uh, catching more opportunities. So uh, we got a lot of confidence in that guy over there. The fact that they were here in August and you guys practiced against him does that take away some of the? Potential for all when you're there in January in a. In a you, you, know, said, you said what? All? The, the, all. Of being in all of. Oh, know, no. I'm, guy, no sort of thing. I don't know about other guys, but I'm definitely not in the all. I mean, like I said, they put on their parents one leg at a time, you know, so you got to play ball at the end of the day, so. What have the vets told you maybe what the intensity level like your jump was for a playoff game, or have you, or have you even had that conversation with anybody? I'm not having, but I have heard uh, a couple, uh, probably like a couple months ago, like it turns up a couple of nights in the playoffs. You know, um, this, this is what it's about, you know, playing these big games.